Welcome back, boys and girls. Yesterday, you listened to Suki's kimono during writing, and today you probably read that story. And we talked about central messages in stories, and we're going to take that information off of our graphic organizer today, and we're going to do a constructed response to a question. So first things first, let's look at the question. Wow, it's pretty big. Let's read through it. What is the central or important message of Suki's kimono? Write a brief essay to answer this question. Describe the message and include key details from the passage that support this idea. Remember to begin by introducing the topic to group related ideas and to end with a concluding statement. Be sure to link related ideas using words such as but and also. Finally, read your essay carefully for mistakes in grammar, capitalization, punctuation, and spelling, and make corrections as necessary. Whoa, what does that even mean? Hmm, let's find some important words and phrases to help us understand what we need to do today. First of all, in the very first sentence, it says central message. What is a central message? We learned about that yesterday. It's the lesson you learned. So what is the central or important message of Suki's kimono? That is the question. All right, let's look and see what else we need to do. Essay, what does essay mean again? Paragraph, so when it says write a brief essay to answer the question, I need to write a paragraph to answer the question. I need to tell you, or I need to write about what the central message is in a paragraph. Hmm. Introduce the topic. Okay, I know that in a paragraph, the very first sentence should be me introducing that topic or having a main idea. Key details. Whew. I'm going to need details. Where would I get details about the message from Suki's kimono? That's right. You're going to get it from the reading, right? So key details means text evidence. End with a concluding statement. Well, if I'm writing a paragraph, I know I need to end it with a concluding sentence. And then it says, be sure to link related ideas using words such as but and also. Well, those are transition words. They just want me to use transition words. That's not too hard. And then finally, read your essay carefully for mistakes in grammar, capitalization, punctuation, and spelling, and make corrections as necessary. Oh, that just means proofread. So basically, this is what's the central message of Suki's kimono? Write a paragraph with an introduction, supporting details and a conclusion, and make sure you proofread it before you turn it in. Well, why didn't they just say that? All right, boys and girls, remember yesterday? This was your graphic organizer. Did you think of a central message for Suki's kimono? Well, did yours match mine? The main message is that students should feel confident to express themselves as individual and share their knowledge and interests. Students should not put down people who are different than they are, but should listen to them and learn about them. Oh, that's the message. So basically, you should be able to wear what you want, like Suki did, and express yourself, and people should just accept you for who you are and not make fun of you. Hmm. Is there text evidence? I have a picture of Suki dancing. She's expressing herself. And I need to think of some text evidence. Well, I'm not going to give you the text evidence because you read the story. I want you to do the work. So the central message is that you should be able to express yourself as an individual without being made fun of. All right, now boys and girls, let's review from last week. You all have a writing goal. So what is your goal for writing? So keep that goal in mind today. And I want you to think of your hamburger to write a paragraph. Your topic sentence should include the central message of the story. So you might start it like, the central message of Suki's kimono is and then you're going to add details. Your details should include text evidence from the story. So you might start the, next, the text evidence as, for example, in the story. Now, I have another layer of my hamburger, which means I'm going to add more detail. Also, hmm, there's a transition word. 
Another na layer means more evidence to support the topic sentence. Then Suki, but, in your closing, your conclusion will restate your idea and wrap it up. In Suki's kimono, I learned. So let's start at the top. You're gonna start with the central message of Suki's kimono is, and tell me the central message. For example, in the story, give me some text evidence. Also, more text evidence. Then Suki, but maybe some text evidence there. And in Suki's kimono, I learned, you're gonna restate that central message. All right, boys and girls, happy writing. I can't wait to see what you write.